Hey everyone, I'm Matt Martin, Outdoor Designs. Uh, been a minute since the video, had a whole lot going on, been working on a lot of landscape projects. Um, so just kind of wanted to get everybody caught up on what exactly I've been doing. Here, some video today. Uh, I did another vertical mulch job for some trees. Um, I really like doing the vertical mulching because of the impact it actually has on the trees. I do not like doing the vertical mulching because it hurts me physically really, really, really bad. Um, it is so intensely physical draining that it just makes it hard to do a lot of jobs. But you know, if they're spaced out from time to time, um, I don't mind doing them at all. Uh, it, I mean, again, and what it does for a tree is just truly phenomenal. Um, so, this particular job was a row of Leland Cypress that were uh, shedding really bad on the inside. And some shedding on the inside is normal. It's a light issue. Uh, when it gets to be excessive, where it looks like maybe, you know, only 30% of the canopy remains, typically it's stress plus a light issue. And in this particular instance, there was a lot of stress. Uh, in the first core, uh, core sample I pulled, we had about a two inch uh, layer of soil that actually held moisture. And then from there down, it was just super hard compacted clay and bone dry. Uh, so, I mean, this is as perfect of a chance to, you know, vertical mulch as there possibly could be. So. Uh, this particular job, it was it was 12 uh, Leland Cypress, and I put in, uh, I don't know, 20 to 30 holes per tree, and uh, it's probably 20 holes. So it was it was a big job, and it took me a long time. And I'll kind of take you through. Um, you know, of course, I did the the deal where you know I'm using my my three inch by by 24 inch auger bit on a half inch drill. You know, and drill, drilling my cores in, you know, 12 to 18, 24 inches. And then in my backfill here, uh, you see I'm using uh, Nature's Helper. It's the organic soil conditioner. Basically, it's some hardwood, sand, uh, probably some decaying leaf matter. Uh, but all in all, it's good stuff. I've actually got peppers in, in, my, in my driveway that are growing in it, and they're doing really well. Um, along with the Nature's Helper, uh, my favorite, biochar. Uh, you know, biochar, it, it's just straight carbon and it's going to do great things for the cation exchange capacity. Uh, carbon is going to help retain moisture. Carbon is going to be able to help the soil retain nutrients a whole lot better. Uh, so it's a, it's a good product. You have to be careful not to overuse it because you can actually pull moisture and uh, nutrients away from the tree so you have to use it sparingly and then I finished off this particular mix nature's helper biochar and then some turfus turfus is what's used on the infields and baseball uh, baseball fields it's basically calcined clay It's really 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 hard clay uh, that does not break down and what it's going to do is allow those cores that I dug um, as the soil begins to wash out around it and close that hole uh, that turfus will actually keep that hole from closing up really well so it'll, it'll help maintain that pore space for uh, water and air and nutrients and whatnot to be able to penetrate that, that soil uh, and you know you'll see I'll mix it up and uh, I just go in behind it and fill each of the holes so anyway that was, uh, that was my, my vertical mulching job I'm, uh, I'm glad it's over with I'm, I'm pretty beat up physically all over uh, but it's a it's a it's a good job for uh, the amount of results you get from it. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks, guys.